so I pried the book from his hands and tore the covers off to bring home. I'll be able to afford another slave this harvest season, at the very least. And these Saxons and their books? You'd think they were more precious than their own lives, but if no one lives to speak of what's written down, who will remember it? <laughs> Not to speak of how they treat their dead. Putting bones or pieces of wood inside golden boxes. <laughs> how this honors their god, I'll never understand. Waiting won't make it any easier. Thorstein! They... I could not let you pass without experiencing the sting of your wit. Uh, the mood I'm in, you'd best hope for stinging rather than a lash. <laughs> <laughs> then let's begin. On the Isle of Ely, great riches were won. Over before this flighting begun. Come, Thorsty. Surely you can do better than that. I've heard of your legend, your grace and prowess. You said it yourself. I've no need to impress. <laughs> the merchant with the silver tongue strikes again. <laughs> It's a shame Harald Jarl outshines you so brightly. Beware that such insults aren't those I take lightly. A proper threat! Delivered in perfect rhythm! Oh, how I've missed you, Thorstein. I trust you have been stung enough for now. Thorstein, the hero of many tales. Thorstein! You've been far from our shores, but never my thoughts. There's something I must say, my all. <laughs> so formal. Did the crossing scour our friendship from your mind? It did not. It's only by friendship that I am brave enough to speak. Tell me then. I'm listening. I tire of raiding Harold. I want to settle where there's rich, dark soil for the taking. I want to make a place of our own where I can live out my days with my wife. You're young yet, my friend. Plenty of time to grow old with a bouncing infant on its knee. No, my Jarl. I've delayed too long already. Today I search for a ship. I have none to spare. Then I shall purchase one. Commission, perhaps. I hope this folly of yours can withstand a year's wait. <sighs> if that is what it takes. It is no slight to you, my Jarl. My love for you has not waned, but my love for my wife only grows stronger with each absence. I hope you will bless my journey in time. Go! And they're going to bring it all the way from a Kundersund? Definitely not. My well, how did it go with Harald? Harald will not stand in our way, but neither will he help us. Oh, at least he could give you his blessing. He did not. Oh, my love. He will come around. 
His love for you flows deep, but its pull is as strong as the tides. I see you've made good on your promise to find us traveling companions, at least. This group of good-for-nothings? They're only here as ballast. Ah, then find a ballast I've never seen. <laughs> it's a good start, but we will need more men. And the navigator. I know. I've gathered a list of names already. Ah, my leather, Stianna. Involder, I need a ship. My wife and I leave for the land across the sea. Uh, Harald won't pay for such a vessel, I'm sure. Did you really fill your pockets that well on your last raid? I have gold enough to cover the cost. Wood, sails, and all? Gunhilda's family will provide the sail. The rest I will purchase. Ah, you're a lucky man. I know. Speak with Skarga for a pine mast, then, and yarn for the nails. <laughs> Tell him I'll expect him to be on time with his deliveries in the future. I'll see what I can do. Steam. What brings you? Involder sent me. Oh, Pine. I'm sorry, what? New to shipbuilding are you. Come with me. You'll learn better by doing. Use that axe to remove the bark from this log. Underneath, you will find silken pine, flexible and light, that will bend in the wind, perfect for a mast. Once you have a sense of the wood, come find me and I'll show you another. Tap in the wedges gently. We want this log to split as straight as possible. That way, we will have long, hard, boards of oak for the hull of your ship to protect you and your felic. I'll wait for you over there. Planting the wood ensures a tight fit between the boards, leaving no gaps or knots that might give way in the middle of the sea. The smoother the joins, the smoother your journey. Now, which type of wood did Melder send you for? Oak, I think. I believe you may be mistaken, friend. Luckily, I have the patience of Balder himself. Then why did you ask me? You won't forget again, will you? <sighs> Pine for a mast. I'll send your new mast to the shipyard as soon as it's ready. Involder sent me. Of course he did. He tried those nails from Aval's nest, and I bet they fell apart in the salt water. 
I use nothing but pure iron, which is why he hates my prices. But at least you won't find yourself suddenly sailing in a bucket full of holes. <laughs> ah, head inside the shop. You can take a box from the stack against the back wall. But tell him he'll have to pay up front if he wants more. I'm the one funding the construction of this ship. You will be paid in full. I have no doubt. Eventually. Imbaldir makes ships that sing on the ocean waves. But mundane thoughts of silver and depth never seem to enter his mind. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Go get your nails. Finally, you return. Now, there's one last step to take. Come with me. Which animal would you like best for your prow? I have three available, so you can choose the spirit that suits your intentions. You will also need to bring me a blessed charm to put inside the prow. But I won't need it for many months yet. Take a look and let me know if you have any questions. Tell me about the Serpent. The snake-headed prow will ensure you dominate the waves with disconcerting ease and great stability. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the Elk. Uh, the Elk is associated with the cycle of life, death and rebirth. For a new beginning in distant lands, it could be quite fitting. Is this the prow you want? Yes. Excellent. Then we can get started. Eikthyrnir, bless us on our journey to new lands and a new home. Thorstein. <sighs> yes, my Jarl. I was childish before. In my joy at seeing you home, I wasn't ready to discuss your departure again so soon. Nor see you gone for good. Please, accept this with my blessing. Unjo, the rune of kinship. And why not? No man has been a truer brother to me than you. It has been an honor to have you in my Fjellach, even if this leg of the trip will be shorter. The day has finally come. And all too soon. Many have come before you. And many will come after. Yet, when I die, it will be your friendship that I recall as I await the opening of Valhalla. There, we will meet again. Go then! And the winds take you swiftly to soft lands and great riches. May your name never be forgotten. If you 